Hello guys, welcome back to 1870 Blues. Um, this is the match reaction, not so instant. Um, I've had to make a new video because a fucking sound uh, quality from the other one. I only found out last night that it was shocking. So um, I've stuck the earphones in and done a test and it sounds a lot better. Um, before we get into this video, uh, if we can get, I don't know, 50 likes and I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. So... Um, yeah, and ignore the bad head as well, just woken up. Um, yeah, Everton 1, Southampton 2, we are fucking shite, and I've accepted our fate that we're going down. Um, my mate is on the bed close to me, his team's just got beaten 3 now, but he seems a lot happier than I am, um, because we are shitter than every single team in this league. Um, we can't say there's no three teams worse than us, there's no fucking... There's not one team worse than us. We are that shite that every time we seem to face a team who's 20th in the league, they go and beat us. Um, and, yeah. Um, Southampton deserved it on the basis of they have, you know, they fucking fall for that win. And I'll say the second half, we didn't. I didn't watch the game because I was in Prague. Um and I've just seen the updates. Um, haven't even still. I still haven't seen the goals because uh, you can't watch the videos on YouTube until your football team um, uploads it. They probably have, but I haven't bothered checking this morning. Um, but I know Anana scored a header, and I know Southampton's lost. Well, actually, I did see the free kick. Actually, uh, made sure of me on Twitter. Um, still. Unsure why Pickford didn't move, but there must have been a reason because he, he jumps from everything. Even if the ball is about 200 yards away from the goal, he'll still jump in the air like a knobhead. So, um, yeah, obviously, we knew before the game about the board not um, not attending a match due to threats from the fans and whatnot, which is something I don't condone. I don't think violence should ever be the answer for anything, but um, personally, I believe the board shouldn't even be anywhere near the ground anyway because they shouldn't even be here. Um, you know, the, the amount of harm they've caused this club in terms of um, appointing managers, appointing every different type of member on the board or anything to do with the transfer situation and just the whole running of the club. Because the club's gone. Like, basically, we've got an owner who doesn't know how to run a club. He's got money but he blames the fans for the manager signings, uh, manager appointments, which makes no sense because it's Lampard. Um, was probably the only one where we voiced our opinion because Victor Pereira, who the fuck is he? Like, could have a nice little record in Portugal or whatever it was, but this is the Premier League. It's different, different gravy. Um, and... Yeah, we voiced our opinion with that, but at the end of the day, if you're an owner of a football club, if you you're a businessman, you shouldn't even fucking listen to the outside. You should be making your own decisions. So um, it shows what type of person he is, or what type of owner he is, from that statement of saying about the fans. So and that stupid statement letter he he come out with the other day to the fans is a load of shit. It's just the same old crap we hear from him. It's something to do with the lava building, you know. That still don't really know what that's about. Uh, Finch Farm and obviously building the stadium and there's all excellent facilities, excellent this, excellent that. Uh, we are striving. Um, it's just a load of crap. And I think that was the nail on the coffin for them. And where do we go? Well, as I was going to say before, you know, they shouldn't even be anywhere near the ground board and the, the owner. It, they should have a restraining order. They should be absolutely nowhere near it. Um, they don't deserve to be anywhere near, they don't deserve to even touch the seats, they don't even deserve to have the pie at half time. Um, yeah, they are, they've ruined this club. And to be honest, I'm, st I'm a bit with Lampard on it as well because even though I think he set up the right team yesterday, um, his tactics have been worrying over the past few weeks, um, which has really affected us. But I don't think. He's got the tools, and I also don't don't think he's got the skill set um, to deal with the situation right now. I think he was helped with the fans last year, and the fact he had to not really implement his style. Um, he had to just go with a tactic of just being hard to beat and grinding out results. 
and hope and hope and players like Richardson will produce and he did. Um he hasn't got that anymore. He's got a bunch of frauds on the pitch and we've got a bunch of frauds off the pitch as well. So I don't think it's the job for them. I think someone like Sean Dyche, which is, you know, not ideal, but like I said, anyone who can get a team hard to beat defensively solid, which we have been prior to the past couple of weeks. Um yeah, we've completely we're just shattered all over the pitch and we're shattered everywhere off it and it's only gonna go one way and that's why I'm accepting my fate. I'm not getting stressed about it anymore. I'll obviously not be happy some days, some of the reactions won't be happy. I think sometimes you just think to yourself, Come on, like what? You're Premier League footballers, how could you not at least one week turn out a result or at least be a little bit consistent like every other team has been this season? Um but uh, I just I just think that's the end of the road for us. I think there's too much uh, shit under the bucket for us to uh, to clean and sort out because um, yeah, I just I can't see anything else of this um, positive. I just I can't see us where we're going to pick thirty five point uh, twenty five points from from now to the end of the season when. Most of the teams in the league are one of the teams are that will sit back and counter attack. Um, there's only about six, seven teams who probably will dominate the possession of the ball, who would like the ball throughout the game, um, and we that's who we're better at um, dealing with. But you know, with Brighton, we didn't deal with it because they're the B Tech Manchester City team. Um, and we couldn't deal with them. So maybe we just can't deal with anyone, and that's why we don't deserve to be here. Um, and yeah, just people are going to be bantering, saying Championship Stadium is going to be the best one, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, because I think Everton fans have bantered themselves more than anyone anyway, so whatever you say can't hurt us, hate us. So I've accepted it. I think most of the fans are starting to accept it. There's some idiot fans out there, stay positive, blah, 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 all this shit. You're the type of fans who just accept this mediocrity for many years to come. And, yeah, I don't blame the fans the way they was. I don't really agree. I've seen all the videos as well, um, which I didn't say in the other reaction video. Um, I didn't see all the, you know, the, the videos of the fa- uh, players getting halted up by the fans. But you know what? I don't blame them as well. I don't listen. As long as they didn't get attacked, they didn't get attacked. But the players just seem to hide from situations like this and put a shitty Instagram post up saying we'll be stronger next time. We'll be this next time. It's a load of crap, and it's right because fans pay their hard-earned money. You know we've supported this club through thick and thin. We've had teams worse than this who have more fight about them, um, and these players are not showing it. Just like they was moaning that Yeri Mina. And he's going, I'll die for this club. And, and we was like, you know, in my head when I heard him say that, I was like, we'll fucking show it on the pitch then because you're just dancing after scoring a goal. Like, we're all fucking living in a happy world when we're not. You should be, like, really being aggressive in, the get, in your game and making sure that you're the leader and making sure, you know, we'll get through a match with three points instead of just fucking dancing away with none. Um, but, yeah, with the whole board and that, I just think... Well, where do we go from this? You know, the board can't exactly leave because then it's all this thing with the transfers as well. We need transfers, but then have we got the right man in charge to take this team out of the relegation show, relegation zone? Do we have? I don't want to put the board to make any other appointments or decisions. I think the only decision they need to make is where the, where are they going after the year, what new house are they getting in a different city after the year, because they shouldn't be anywhere near this club. Um, but that's all for the future now and it's it's 15 days, 14 days left of the transfer market. We look like um, we have more chances of bringing Kevin Morales back than anyone else. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm out. I thought I'd keep it a bit shorter because the last one was long. So I try and upload it over here. It does take its time. I do apologise for any delays, um, but I'll see you all soon.